today we are doing a experiment from National Geographic Mega Science Series Amazing Reactions Chemistry Set. It's an actual bonus experiment called Create Elephant Toothpaste. Yeah, elephant toothpaste. All right. Elephant. So, yes, elephant. I'm an elephant. All right. Now, so what we're going to need to do, of course, we have our two liter bottle. It said to get a two liter bottle. We need hydrogen peroxide. We need dry yeast and warm water. And, and food coloring. So we chose green, because, or he chose green, because he likes green. Yeah. All right. So first, it says to measure one half cup of hydrogen peroxide. Uh oh. In here? Half oh. cup. Wait, yeah. Wait, 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 I don't even know if it's open. That's what I was trying to figure out. It's not. There's a little tab right here. Oh, my hands are green from the. I know mine line. too. <laughs> So a half a cup, and please don't, well actually, we're gonna double this recipe. So, or this experiment amount. So really, instead of a half a cup, we're gonna do one full cup. So, which is almost half the container of peroxide. What, be careful. I don't want it all over the counter. Ah. Uh. You need help? So <laughs> ah, I almost got Yeah, don't get it in your eye. I wish I had my goggles on. Yes, I wish you did too. Okay, so you're about there. Okay. Let's see where we're at. We are right on it. Right on that. Awesome. Let some of the air out of there. Put it back this in. Close from Getting it in your eye. eye. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna dump that in here. Hold on. So get our little funnel in there. Oh dear. And I'll hold the funnel. Can you do that or do I need to lower that? Please don't spill. I'm fine with spilling. Oh, I can't tell if it's gonna spill. You're doing good. Uh-oh. You got it. So it's there's like our water. hydrogen peroxide. It's like water, but then drink it. Just regular peroxide you buy at the store. So. 3%. Yep. Now I want you to rinse out the rinse out the cup. Rinse with water. All right, doesn't have to you don't have to go overboard now. I'm sure that's fine. I mean it's really clean. Okay, so next we're gonna add a squirt of dish soap. Oh, a squirt? Uh, a squirt. A squirt. Uh, uh, that is, a no, I said a squirt. That's what it said on there. Oh, not too much now. That's definitely a squirt. Uh, hey, they said a squirt. Well, they didn't say to dump like the whole thing, and then they said to kind of swish this around and mix it because you don't want it all bubbly right now. That's pretty mixed right, already because <clears throat> you don't want the peroxide reaction. Mm -hmm. So now it says to add, go ahead and add food coloring. So we're going to add, I don't know, a couple drops, maybe not much. One, maybe it's one good. more drop. Extra green. Okay, mm -hmm. whoa, that was about three. <laughs> what? Well, I did too. Well, okay, we're did. good on that. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Yes. So you have that, and then we're going to. Get, it says three tablespoons of warm water. So what we're going to do is put just a little bit of water in there. That? 
let's see. All right, what are you doing? I don't know, I can't see. I want to use as little water as possible only because I want it to not dilute the peroxide and so we can have a better effect maybe. A little less. Because it actually called for one tablespoon of dry yeast and we're going to use probably about the equivalent of two. Yeah, but we have, we need about just enough water to dissolve that. I'm thinking. That should be enough. Well, no, I'm you gotta put it. Freeze. What are you doing? No, no. You put it in the microwave and warm it up a little bit. I want to touch that. That's hot. I think that's gonna be too hot. Yeah, we have to let it cool. No, we don't have to let it cool. We're gonna dump some out and add some regular water in it. Cool it off. That's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it is hot. Definitely hot. So warm water, not Pack boiling water, water, because it might kill your yeast. Kill? Yeast is a living organism. So this is a, because this is active dry yeast? It is living. It's it's dry it's dry it's in we have to do experiments and talk about yeast. They feed on sugar and um, warmth and they multiply rapidly. So you mean yeast in a package is a living thing? It's like a almond. Yeah, we'll have to do some science on that. What? One. That should be good. So I have the scissors. If you cut across the bot, the t what do you? I guess you can cut diagonal if that's what you want to do. Yeah, you can cut diagonal, whatever way you want. No, it doesn't matter. That's good, probably. Hello. Um. See if you can pour it in there. You're gonna have to work with the package a little. Got it? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, hold on. It's warm, so. Uh, we about don't have any water left. So what does it say after that? Mm. Yeast and stir for about a half a minute. So. Stir it half smells. a minute. It smells. So you just want them all. Is that eatable? Mixed up. Ew, it's like a paste because we didn't use up. It's expanding already. That's why. Oh, that's gonna be difficult to add. <gasps> how are we gonna add that? You know, how about we add a little more? Mm. A little. Ah, it's gummy. Mm. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna get one more already. It's not warm yet. Okay, so we're gonna finish the rest of this experiment outside. Yeah. Okay, so we're outside and we're going to finish this experiment. Which is rising. It is not as bad as you thought. You dumped it on the ground though. Okay, so we have a reaction going on. It's not as dramatic as you thought because we're only using 3%. He thought it was going to just totally explode like you see in some other videos. But they're using probably a higher concentration of peroxide. Here we go. There we go. This is a safer, more mellow <laughs> it's experiment. So funny. And it's not hot. Oh, it's so that's cool. Oh, look. So we should it's have it. It's turning brown. Well, it's where it's streaked. I'll see if I can get in here. Let well, me get this. Whoops. 
I'm gonna get this tilted up. There. Just to get this on the lower. Oh. <laughs> I oh, smell the soap. Oh yeah, I strong. <laughs> Someone added just a tad much. So this is a safer elephant toothpaste version. <laughs> Because it's designed more for kids to do. Yeah. They say adults should use the, you know, if they want a higher concentration of the peroxide, then adults need to do that, not children, because it probably creates more heat and is more dangerous, bigger reaction. Oh, guess why it's brown? The yeast. Mm -hmm. Brown yeast. Hold on. Uh -oh. What are you doing? Ew, looky. Oh, I thought it would go in the bottle and make it a little bit of a reaction. It's just, so doubling this recipe, it just probably makes it to where it might maybe spew out a little longer, but it's not going to make your reaction more dramatic, I don't think. So you're actually using <laughs> more ingredients, and I don't know. If that makes a difference. Not a whole lot. This is so neat. Not like in some of our other experiments with a bigger reaction, it's... Now if you had, like I said, that more concentrated peroxide, that's another story. Oh, I get it. Ah. Yeah, don't get it on me or the camera. It's about done spewing already, isn't it? It's barely coming out now. Mm -hmm. You hear the sound? I do. Out? I don't want it on me, I said. <clears throat> cool. Oh, well, it's done. Oh. Well. <laughs> now you've got a, a two liter bottle of foam. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, this yeast smells kinda. Yes, it does. It has a odor to it. Yep, it is about. Whoa. <laughs> Now, yeah, it's just mainly just foam. Look at that. Tons. Soapy foam, and I hope we're far enough away from the ponds that it won't affect the fish. I think it'll be fine. And the turtles land. I think it'll be you? fine. Look at it! Wow, big pile of... Now you can play in it! Bubbles. Just carefully. Just think it's chemicals, too. Again! I don't want to, uh, if you're going to do it, do it kind of over that way and I can do it better because you're, <laughs> you've got the sun behind you. It might be causing glares where they can't see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm covered now. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Pretty cool experiment. Yeah? That was fun. Just... Really and then you just and have to. <laughs> wow. Oh. Not in my direction. <laughs> this stuff is kind of fun. Like, you see it? You know. I see it. Uh, it's like shaving cream. Yeah. That's what but it that reminds me of. Is it and shaving cream? <laughs> no. And then when if you play with it, you don't want to get that in your eyes or yeah. mouth or. or nose. Probably not even on your clothes. I don't know if it would be. I'm not sure what that would do. We'll find out apparently. Yeah. I don't think it. They have bubbling. Wow. So that was relatively <laughs> mild and safe. It was not quite what we were expecting, apparently. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, you're getting it in your hair, too. Uh. Alright, so are we done playing? Yeah. Okay. Now I have green dirt. Some green dirt, too. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so we're going to go back inside and explain what happened. Okay, so the science behind this experiment, hydrogen peroxide breaks down into oxygen and water, but that usually happens very slowly. However, yeast acts as a catalyst, something that speeds up a chemical reaction. When the yeast hits the liquid in the bottle, the dish soap helps the released oxygen form foamy bubbles that build up until they burst out the top of the bottle. So that is essentially what happened here. All right, so that is our experiment with the elephant toothpaste. I'm still covered in yeast. <laughs> that yeast splattered everywhere. <laughs>